After impressive wins in their last two games, the Tennessee Titans now control their playoff fate. If they win their last two games, they will win this division. But there's a chance they could even clinch the title today. But they'll be met with one of their greatest challenges now, having to replace the young superstar tight end Sal Sexton, who was in line for possibly being Rookie of the Year. Last week against Carolina, he dislocated his ankle on the onside kick Carolina attempted late, and now his season is likely over. And they lost left guard Timmy Church in that game. And this is ultimately one of the biggest games of the season here, with us taking on Miami, while the Indianapolis Colts take on the Texans, a two-win team. There's a chance they could put real pressure on us today and take back control of the AFC South. We have to find a way to replace both Sexton and Church on offense while managing the speediest receiver duo the NFL has perhaps ever seen. With a win today and a Colts loss, we would win the AFC South. If we lose, things get really interesting. And if both us and Indianapolis win, it'll be decided next week in the final game of the season. Titans and Dolphins from Miami, and the Titans are up first today as we get underway. And this kick is boom through the end zone. Malik Willis has really been at his best this year when he's been able to target Sal Sexton, and that is now no longer an option. Chris Manhurts, Chig Akonkwo, and Jared Cook, newly signed, will try to replace him. First and ten, Titans will pass, and it's caught by Traylon Burks, a gain of five. Looks like Chig Akonkwo gets the start. He's out there now. Handoff goes to Derrick Henry. And the Dolphins are all over him to force the game's first third down. Three receivers in. Throwing is Willis and the pass is hauled in. It's caught by Calvin Ridley. And we need more from players like him without Sal Sexton. Handoff. Derrick Henry on first down with two defenders pulling him down. Remember, though, it's still Derrick Henry's offense. They give it to him again, running to the right side, falling forward. Good gain. Setting up third down. Two tight ends on the field. Henry will get the call, trying to get to the edge, and running out of space as the Dolphins defend it well. Fourth down, and out comes the punt team for Tennessee. Not willing to go for it here on their own half on the opening drive. Punted away, fair caught by Tyreek Hill. And here comes the Dolphin offense, which pose a unique challenge that no other team really has with the combo of Hill and Jalen Waddle. Here's Tua Tungavailoa, gonna check this down. It's Chase Edmonds out of the backfield and he gets close to a first down. Single high look from Tennessee now. Third down, it's Edmonds, he gets the first. Out to the 27. We've been through the struggles against the run all season. Now throwing on second down. It is caught on the outside. Cedric Wilson with the grab. That's good for a first down. Ball at the 39 now of Miami as Edmonds off tackle. Gets past Cunningham momentarily. Ends up with six yards. How do you try and attack this offense on third down? Only a four-man rush. Tua's got time, and the catch is made by Tyreek Hill. They give him first down yardage. Up to midfield. Good start for Miami. First and ten. Pass is deflected and intercepted by Caleb Farley, and Tennessee will take over. I think this hit Tyreek Hill in the shoulder, and then it popped up for Farley to capitalize. A fortunate takeaway for Tennessee and a short field. Man hurts the tight end now. Henry the running back. Play fake. Getting Willis outside the pocket. Downfield and caught by Calvin Ridley. Nice adjustment. Inside the 25 of Miami and Tennessee's in business. Two tight ends in the game. McCole Hardman checks in. As they fake it, pressure on Willis, and he is sacked. Emmanuel Ogba got through. And you worry about this pass protection now, missing another starting lineman. They're set up now third and forever. 
Willis connects, and it's caught by a Kunkwo for the first down. Ogba is shaken up on the play as Tennessee makes the big conversion. What a clutch play on third down for Chig Akonkwo. Setting up a new set of downs, and Willis to the end zone! Caught by Ridley! Touchdown! A massive third down conversion allows the Titans to capitalize. A touchdown off the interception, and they take the first lead here in Miami. Late first quarter, Tua Tunga Vailoa trying to bounce back. Interception might not have been his fault. Pass caught by Mike Gesicki, who gets away from Roger McCreary. Turns into a 16-yard catch and run. We'll bring the fullback in now. Fake it to Edmonds on first down. Tua off balance. It's caught again. Bouncing off defenders, Gesicki. Second play, he's made the catch and eluded that first hit. Into Titan territory now. Again, just sending four, and that pass is picked off. It's Roger McCreary. And that's two takeaways for this Tennessee defense. He's playing inside leverage. He's in position for the slant, and Tua throws it anyway. Two big turnovers for Miami. Tennessee finishing out this first quarter with the football. On second down, nice grab by Hardman. Set down right in front of Xavier Howard for the first down. Ball right at the 50-yard line. Here's Henry cutting it inside, and he gets hit by multiple defenders. Second down and 10. They'll fake it to Henry. Willis is all by himself. Going deep for a Kunkwo inside the 20. 39 on the catch. I think they're going to be all right. Spectacular job by Akonkwo. Manhurts enters now as Henry is swarmed in the backfield by Jerome Baker. That's a loss of three. Trying to capitalize once again. Third and seven. Pass outside is caught by Akonkwo, but well shy of the end zone. And they'll have to kick it. Well, that's two takeaways. Ten points off of them. And they have done a good job so far keeping the tight end a part of the offense. Miami football. They are not starting out the way they had hoped today. Edmonds now through contact. He gets first down yardage. And now Cedric Wilson is hurt. At the 43-yard line. Four-man rush. Tua trying to extend things. And he throws out in front of his intended target. They're not shying away from playing man coverage against these guys. Dropping to his zone now and finding the soft spot is Tyreek Hill as they cross midfield. They've thrown two interceptions around this part of the field already. Now it's the quick completion across the middle. Gains eight. Two tight ends on the field now. Fake for Tua. Pass caught by Hill. And this is where they're at their best. When Tua can get that ball out quick and accurately... Let the receivers make plays. Six and change to go in the first half. Edmund slips the tackle. Takes off inside the 10. A gain of 16. Miami, goal to go. Trying to cut into this lead. Dolphins going empty. Four on the rush. They're protecting the end zone well. And the pass is incomplete for Eric Azukama. And that sets up third down. One more try to get into the end zone. Passes. Caught for the touchdown. It's Gesicki. Not going to break out his rendition of the gritty today. But that is a really nice grab. A defender, Fulton, was right there. And the Dolphins make it a three-point game as they get things back on track. Now Willis looks to take a chance downfield. Overthrowing Ridley. That's the time to take a shot, though, I think. They had the one-on-one. -on -one. Henry tries to run inside, and they have handled this really well. Forcing this team to go pass heavy, missing a tight end, missing a starting guard. Third down, Willis. Open and caught for the first down. Chris Manhurts. These guys are really stepping up huge. Running now, and Henry's trying to grind through defenders. He gets four. 16 yards for him is all. 
They fake it on second down. Plenty of time. Caught by Hardman all by himself. Out of bounds inside the 20. Willis is playing outstanding. He's 12 of 13. Receivers consistently giving him great looks. On the ground now. And it opens up. This is Henry for the touchdown. Titans back up two scores. McCall Hardman put Derrick Henry down. He just ran for more yards on that run than he had on all of his carries prior combined. 17 to seven. The offense looks really good. Two minutes to go. Tua's in trouble, gets it out. It's Chase Edmonds, and that should be first down yardage. We'll see if they picked up a few things after getting back on track last drive. Jump ball tipped away from the receiver. And once that ball is deflected, you can do whatever you want to the receiver. Second down, Tua gets outside the pocket, and he'll run it for a gain of seven. Clock winding down. They have all their timeouts if they're able to keep this drive moving. Third down, across the middle, and broken up. That was intended for Ramondre Stevenson, and Roger McCreary played it perfectly. Ball goes back to Tennessee, but pinned inside their 15. What do they try? Screen for Hardman, out of space quickly. It's a little bit different when you're backed up here. And they're going to let this clock run, it looks like. Third down, quick pressure on Willis. He gets out of there. Going to sling it down the sideline, incomplete. And they'll leave Miami with a little chance here. We'll see what they have after the punt. They'll need some kind of a return from Hill. And he is up to the 34. Five seconds left. I do not believe Tua can throw it 70 yards through the air. He's at his 25. Tua's got time. Here it is. It's going to come up short. And it's incomplete. Tennessee with a really solid first half. We wondered about Sal Sexton. But even without the young star tight end, the play of Aconquo and Manhurts is a big reason why we're in this spot right now. And now if you're wondering about the Colts score, remember they play the four o'clock game. This is an early game. So we won't know their score until the end of the week. So we can't scoreboard watch at all. Miami down 10. Getting this second half underway. They had one good drive in that first half, and Edmonds gets smashed by Zach Cunningham. They prefer to avoid the three and out here. Tua needs 10 out of the pocket, and panicking downfield incomplete for Tyreek Hill. Nice job defense again. And this is where you want to start establishing Derrick Henry. This is McCole Hardman. He'll run to the right, trying to get around a defender, and the ball comes out. Recovered by Miami. It is a touchdown. And that'll change everything. Suddenly a one-score game. Hardman trying to make a move, and he just gets destroyed. The Dolphins scoop and score their way to making this a game again. 17-14. Offset eye. I see we still establish Derrick Henry. And Tennessee will pick up 10 yards as Henry gets out to the 34. We're seeing a lot of Leonard Rouse in the game once again this week. Across the middle and Willis connects with Manhurts. The veteran tight end I think has been a pretty important signing for us overall. From midfield, play action. Throwing to Henry, he'll stiff arm one defender and then Baker comes in to lay the hammer. Up to the 42, third down run, Henry into a massive collision, but he gets it done, first down. Ridley joins Hardman on the right side, again fake to Henry, Willis out to his right, man hurts, can't make the catch, well defended. Facing a second down. They got Willis rolling to his left now. Manhurts makes the catch. He gets nine more, and it's third and short. They have two tight ends in. Third and one. And Henry loses yardage. 
Immediate penetration from the interior, and he loses three. And that'll bring out Randy Bullock. This try from 50. And the kick is good. Tennessee leads by six. This is really an opportunity for Miami. They've only put together one strong possession, and Edmonds gets them off to a good start. To the outside, he goes for 20. His best run of the day. But if you can just put together your second touchdown drive, you take the lead here. This is Hunter Long, the second tight end, who gets nine yards. They get a third and one now. The box is stacked. Running is Edmonds. He doesn't get it. He stood up by Danico Autry. Each defense now with stops on third and one. Miami gives it back to Tennessee. There's no deep safety here. Willis backing up. He's going to let this fly for Hardman. It's too far in front. Again, they identify the one-on-one. -on -one. Can't connect. Big third down. Willis downfield again and caught by Ridley. Into Miami territory. They're seeing their chances to go downfield and they're not shying away if there's one-on-one. -on -one. Ridley with a step and Willis puts it right on him for the first down. Into Dolphin territory. Second down and almost intercepted by Baker. Got away with that one. Third down. For Rush. Pressure coming. Pass is caught. Hardman first down inside the 35. A chance to make this a two-score game again. At the Dolphin 33. Here's Willis. Again going downfield. Hardman! He's got it! Touchdown! I think that'll make up for the fumbled punt. What a catch downfield by McCall Hardman. They've stayed aggressive, and they've given everybody in the lineup a chance to make plays, and they all are responding. Now attempting to go up by 14. Wide open is Calvin Ridley. The two is good. 28-14. Tennessee getting closer, perhaps, to a playoff return. Running this one, and this is Benny Snell checking in. And he takes it out to the 45-yard line. Miami with one offensive touchdown certainly needs to start getting some drives together. This is third down. Tua completes it to Kasicki. They get across the 50 as we make our way towards the fourth quarter. They'll run it with Edmonds getting around Cunningham. Close to a first down again. You got to get a touchdown here. Miami at the 25, going Edmonds' way, running left and spinning his way forward. It goes for nine. Almost a 100-yard day for Chase Edmonds. Trying to add on to his total. Nice tackle, though, by Cunningham. Two receivers on the right side. Here is Edmonds, met quickly and taken down. Terrell Riddick was there, setting up third down. They can still convert inside the four. Two is in trouble, and he is sacked. It's Terrell Riddick. Perhaps your defensive rookie of the year. Terrell Riddick, 10-plus sacks as a rookie. And Miami just took the field goal. 11-point game now. They still need two touchdowns. Here's Henry inside, plenty of space, running over a safety. You do not want to face him at full speed like that. Eight minutes left to go. From the 47, Henry again through a tackle. First down. The fun has begun. Rouse is in the game. First down, Tennessee. And now play action off of it. Rolling is Willis. He's going to throw this one deep. And it's tipped in. Intercepted by Miami. He tried to hit Calvin Ridley for the dagger. He had a couple receivers open, but tried to go over the top. That's one too many attempts, perhaps, downfield. Dolphins still need two touchdowns, but they have the football again. This is third down. Tua out of bounds in the direction of Hill. They got some pressure on him. 
Fourth down. Gotta have this one. Tua rolls to his left. Launches again. Out of bounds for Tyreek Hill. They just haven't been able to put together the passing game today. A run here for Derrick Henry. And it's a five-yard pickup. Don't think there'll be too many more deep shots down the field. Henry takes him inside the 15. And now a uh, shaken up player. That's Natane Moody. They'll run Henry to the right side. And he gets through one tackle, gaining two more. Moody is not going to be returning to this game. They feed Henry and another huge hit. Third down. What do you think they do here? Oh, they fake it to Henry. Get it out to Hardman, but nobody on Miami is fooled. They keep the clock moving. It was the time, I think, to try that out. Back up 14 points now. Two in change left to go. Tua completes underneath the Tyreek Hill. And we haven't really seen Jalen Waddle today. He got hurt earlier in the game and has not returned and has not made an impact on this game. It's been Tyreek Hill, Cedric Wilson, Eric Azukama. They really need those top two players, and they haven't replaced them well. A deep ball now, knocked away from Tyreek Hill. It's fourth down, Miami. You've got to get the touchdown here. Well, soon. Fourth and five. Can they convert? Jump ball incomplete for Hunter Long. And the ball goes back to Tennessee. Miami continues to use timeouts, so we're not quite finished yet. They give this one off to Mostert. He gets driven back and then drilled in the backfield. Miami, no timeouts now and under a minute left. Tua on second down. He's got time. Launches again. Intercepted by Kevin Byard. And that is going to seal this one. Tennessee with their ninth win on the season. And they get closer to a potential playoff berth and division title. If the Colts lose today, or next week even, it's theirs. But they ensure they are still in control with their third straight win. And all three of these wins have been against teams who at the time at least were above 500. This game went about as well as you could have hoped. We really just had one of our best passing games of the entire series after losing Sal Sexton. We kept up our same offensive identity. Play action game was there. I like all but one of the shots that we took today. That last one, I've thrown that interception so many times, typically in NCAA. It usually is at the end of a really good game where I just think we're invincible and we can throw it wherever we want to. But I just saw their chances pre-snap if we got the right look post-snap and we kept getting the look to take the shot. So we did. And eventually we hit for a couple. We did lose Natane Moody late in that game, meaning there's another missing starting lineman. So the injuries, unfortunately, piling up here at the worst time as the playoffs approach. So now we want to know, what is the situation heading into week 18, final week of the season? The Tennessee Titans are division champions. The Houston Texans defeated Indianapolis 19 to 18. The division goes to us after a huge second half collapse this year by the Indianapolis Colts as it seemed like they would run away with this division, but they started to run cold while Tennessee ran hot. We win this division, and we will either be the three or four seed in the playoffs. However, I'm leaning towards not playing our starters in the last week. We haven't yet clinched according to the game, but we own that division tiebreaker, so I know it's already over. But I'm not sure we need to play our starters in this game. I'm not worried about the seeding too much. And the injuries have just unfortunately been stacking up. And I'd like to get to the playoffs as healthy as possible. We have to make a roster move now. And we're going to sign the top available center. There are some guards and tackles who have better overall. 
but we're going to go with Austin Ryder. He is the 31-year-old center who will replace Natane Moody. I'd like to get him playing time in Week 18, even if it's with the backups, just to see how he handles it. He has, like, all of his ratings, at least in the 70s, so I'm okay with that as a quick replacement. And because of just where the roster is right now, we're going to put Natane Moody on injured reserve, officially ending his season. We're not doing so with Sal Sexton because he could still come back if we made it to the Super Bowl. And we're not doing so with Timmy Church because I think he's a really, really good run blocker and he would be set to come back a little bit earlier, possibly second round of the playoffs if we were to get there. So what do you think about week 18? Do you play the starters? I'm leaning towards not doing so. I'd like the chance to see more of those players that might help us out in the future. You could also play like the first half of starters and the second half backups. That's something a lot of teams do. But what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Please leave a like if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe to the channel. We're going to the postseason this year. We know that much. What a season it's been. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you all next time.